Hey everybody, welcome to an introduction to Node.js. Um, I'm going to do a lot of videos in this series, but just to get started to make sure everybody's on the same page, I'm just going to kind of take the first video to bring everybody up to speed on what Node.js is, uh, in case you're not familiar. So their official website is nodejs.org. Uh, it looks something like this at the time of these videos, but it may well change dramatically in the future. And so basically, uh, this first sentence here really describes it. So it's a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine, which I know is pretty confusing. So if we follow this uh, link here for Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine, basically what we're looking at is um, the the engine, like the program that the Chrome browser uses to parse JavaScript. So taking a step back, one of the cool things about client-side JavaScript is that you don't need to install any like languages or compilers or anything like that, right? Like so if you were doing Ruby or PHP or Python, uh, the first thing you would have to do is you'd have to go out um, using some kind of package manager and you'd have to install that scripting language on your computer so that you can run it. Uh, but that's not true with JavaScript, right? Because JavaScript runs in all the browsers. Um, so if I were to open up like an about dot blank page here, which is just an empty page in Chrome, and then I were to right click and go into inspect, um, I actually have this console here where I can click on and I can run JavaScript. So I can do like one plus one and it'll return two. Um, so this is unique to JavaScript only in the sense that it's packaged with every single browser. And the way that browsers run JavaScript is with their JavaScript engines. So Chrome has a V8 engine, uh, Microsoft has the Chakra engine, um, which you can check out here on GitHub, um, and so on and so forth. And so, you know, this would be for Edge, uh, this is for Chrome, there's one for Opera, one for Firefox. So basically they have these engines that uh, parse and compile JavaScript. And, and because they each have different engines, that's where you get into these compatibility issues. For those of you that have done front client-side JavaScript before and run into some kind of compatibility issue where you have to test for IE or you have to you know, run an if check to see if something exists, like service workers or something like that. Um, or for those of you who have ever checked out uh, the Kangax compatibility table, this is what we're really talking about here. So when you see, uh, for those that don't know what this is, this allows you to pick like a version of JavaScript, so like ECMAScript 6, and then it allows you to compare it between all the different browsers here, and then all the different uh, APIs here. So like, um, for example, let's see, proper tail calls are added in ES6, but they're not in any of these browsers. So you can see all across is red until we get to some of these here, like WebKit. Um, this is not really important, but what I wanted to point out is that when you hear or you read an article that's like talking about JavaScript compatibility, you know, oh, this works in, you know, let's say Edge and higher or Microsoft IE 9 and higher, something like that. What we're talking about is these uh, JavaScript engines that come with each browser. So what Node is, is it's basically taking that JavaScript engine out of the browser and then you're using that much in the same way you would do something like PHP or Ruby or something like that. So basically, when you install Node, like if you download Node here, you're really just downloading this a wrapper around this V8 engine. Um, so I hope that makes a little bit of sense just to kind of clear things up. So basically, uh, for all intents and purposes, it works very, very similar to Python, PHP, Ruby. And we'll see, we'll get it downloaded, installed, and we'll run some really basic apps in the coming videos. But I just kind of wanted to give some context on you know, what it is, what Node is, because it's a little bit different, right? Node isn't a language because it uses the JavaScript language. Um, but it's not just JavaScript either, right? It's like JavaScript on the back end, some people call it. And that's because it's bundled with this V8 engine. Uh, so you get your language and it communicates with this engine. Um, some other kind of interesting things are, it's not very popular right now. It is possible, though, that you can actually swap out the V8 engine with like Chakra Core or with Mozilla's engine or anything like that. Um, that's for much more advanced use case. When Just know that when you install Node from the website, you're getting it with the V8 engine, which means that you're getting everything that's compatible, JavaScript compatibility with the current V8 engine. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. Um, 
feel free to leave a comment if there's anything that's still unclear. Um, but that's basically kind of the basics of Node. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it is a language, right? Because it's just, you know, it's JavaScript. Uh, but it's JavaScript that you can run on the server because it comes packaged with, uh, you know, the guts of a browser, basically. I uh, hope that helps. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to get it installed and set up on your computer.